you guys and welcome back. Ah, so I just got back from um, a long day working with um, the Australian Electoral Com Committee. Yeah, committee. Um, I had a one-day job um, today working with them, um, and yeah, it ended up being pretty good. Um, so I woke up about five o'clock um, and left here about ten to six um, to get to the place I needed to be uh, for eight thirty. I was there a little, little early, just, just a little bit, but um, that actually ended up being good because uh, I was shown the place. Uh, showing all the health and safety and stuff before we got started. Um, but, yeah, it was good. I, um, wasn't really expecting, um, it wasn't really what I expected, rather, we would be doing, but, um, I guess it's, uh, it was a lot more f uh, physical activity than I guess I thought it would be. Um, and I'm pretty sure in the email that they that they sent out saying we need you to work for one day. I'm pretty sure it said no heavy lifting, and yet the entire day was pretty much heavy heavy lifting. But oh, uh, depends what you classify heavy lifting as. But it was um, it was pretty intense. So. Pretty sure it counted as heavy lifting, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, and, um, just to sort of sum it all up, I I went in and um, there's a massive warehouse with all these uh, pallets full of promotional gear and um, what were some of the stuff we packed? We packed. Well, I saw the people packing things like first aid kits that they would have available at the um, at the voting just in case I guess in case you cut yourself on a ballot paper um, we we boxed um, promotional posters for AEC um, and Type, different types of um, things like the binders that they will use to um, put in the name, the registered names for that um, part of Queensland and things like that. Um, so we were actually just doing Queensland, which is good. Otherwise, it would have taken years. But um, yeah, it was good fun. Um, lots of physical work, but it was good. Um, but, but before I explain the texture, uh, the craziest thing, I bought a drink. I saw this in the shop, and this is the empty one, and it had a little strawberry on it. I was like, oh, strawberry, that's cool. Um, but it's actually that color. So this white color, see-through color. And this one's like a mixed berry drink, and it's like sparkling berry drink, but it's white. I just thought that was really cool. Um, so it's spritz sparkling mixed berry. Um, if you ever see it in in the shops, I would recommend it because it's not what what you'd expect to be tasting from something that's clear. So that was almost the uh, the highlight of my day, really. Nah, nah, it wasn't. Um, but to to move on to what we've done with the texture, I got rid of all the scratches around the lid of the box. Didn't like it. So just the bottom now has the scratches. Um, I added in the this sort of like glass glassy looking panel on the top 
um, some vents on the side. Let's just bring up the the map here. Some vents on the side, and then just darkens the the edges um, on everything. I haven't really done the inside, but I should probably do do that as well. Um, zoom in a bit. Put a, a number, serial number on it, which is pretty simple. And then this light thing, which is kind of cool. Um, I <clears throat> I have another cloud layer, which just breaks it up a little bit more, and this sort of blurred out noise layer. And that actually looks really cool on the texture. Um, and then just basic highlights, so highlights on the hinge and the the hinge joint thing. Um, so it's looking really good. It's the text there. Is that? It's the black. So I, I'll actually do the inside, even though I mean you will see it, but to start off with you don't. So I'm just gonna. So the easiest way to do something like this is to marquee the area and then just instead of trying to like get a brush that's the perfect size and try and I mean you could shift it you could do that actually and then erase the parts that you don't don't necessarily want but we'll just I mean, if you're accurate, you can do it like a box. Like that. Just brush it in. So. I'll just keep doing that. Um, yeah, so. Pretty crazy. <clears throat> crazy day today for me. Um, it's a. Uh, it's both quite impressive and quite sort of feels unnecessary of how much stuff they actually need for an election. Um, but they do they do send a lot of it back um, which is which is actually not too bad so a lot of recycling I guess goes into some of the stuff but it's still crazy that you know all the ballots that you uh, I mean I guess they w I guess as the government they would recycle like reci recycle as in like break down and then reproduce uh, more paper out of the paper ballots and stuff like that but <clears throat> there's probably a lot of stuff that doesn't ever get reused so <clears throat> it's uh, crazy especially things like pens like all the pens that we boxed today were new there wasn't that didn't look like there were any um, any old ones. So I guess people will either take them or they just go in the bin. But uh, <clears throat> I guess I guess that's not really much of my concern. It's uh, governments, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Um, I think that's it for ex like as an explanation of the texture. I'm actually gonna keep working on this now <clears throat> um, tonight if I can. I'm pretty tired though, so we'll see. Um, but hopefully you've had a good start to your week, good Monday, and I will talk to you again on Tuesday. All right, cheers, guys.